going to be the winner of the Royal Rumble. No, I'm going to be the winner of the Royal Rumble. No, we're going to be the winners of the Royal Rumble. I'm Bobby Lashley, and I'm spearing everyone. Mm. And now I'm Brock Lesnar, and Bobby, I'm gonna ruin your Royal Rumble experience. I love Brock Lesnar. This version of Brock Lesnar is just... Chef's kiss, you know? Smackdown, the last show before Royal Rumble 2023. In the last video I said 2022, but now I said 2023. And you cannot take that away from me. First match of the show. Karrion Cross vs. Rey Mysterio. Oh my god, amazing, amazing storyline. I told you a couple shows ago that I'm really invested into that storyline. I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen. And right now, do you know what happened? Oh my god, the right thing. I know that some of you are thinking, oh my god, we're, we're burying Karrion Cross. We're doing the unthinkable with the correct Karrion Cross again. We're doing the same thing with Karrion Cross that we did when he lost to Jeff Hardy. No, guys, no, it's not the same. It's not the same because this is gonna be a long story. It's gonna be at least three matches out there. We're gonna see a different side of Cross. I'm sure about it. I'm just really confident about what I'm saying and I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen. Ray winning right now was definitely the right thing for sure. Time will tell, but definitely an up and this is definitely not an ups and downs so if you, I'm saying up, that means that it was really good. The match, finally, the match. But I don't understand why we're doing it on SmackDown. Sonya Deville vs Charlotte Flair next year Next year? Next week on SmackDown. I don't understand why we're doing it on SmackDown. Why didn't we save it for the next pay-per-view? Elimination Chamber, I think, is the next pay-per-view. I really liked that Sonya Deville interfered in a random ass interview, but I don't understand why she wasn't aggressive there. But anyway, anyway, I'm gonna give it a pass. We're having the two tag team matches. Who will determine who will face the Usos? Legado del Fantasma versus Imperium. When I was seeing the four teams that were the last. I clearly saw which one is the favorite, Imperium of course, and I don't know if they're gonna win, but they were really pushed in NXT, and now I see why they're in the picture, and they will be pushed as well. The guy the Phantasma versus Imperium was a throwback, it was a really good match. There were a little bit of flops out there, but uh, I really enjoyed the match in general. The other match that we saw was supposed to be Hitro versus McIntyre and Sheamus. Instead, some shenanigans happened, the Viking Raiders become the Viking Raiders. I don't know, uh, it's kind of interesting the fact that the Viking Raiders attack Drew and Sheamus, but it's kind of shite that uh, they just relinquish their opportunity for the tag team titles. Why? Why just we didn't even have a backstage segment of uh, Drew and Sheamus beat up Viking Raiders? So, mm, it kind of makes some sense, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna give it a pass. We were having Hitro versus Braun and Ricochet, which is strange because at the end we're gonna see Braun and Ricochet versus Imperium, which is a match that we already saw, and Imperium is gonna win somehow, even though Braun and Ricochet seems unstoppable. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what else to say. Oh my god, this is, oh my god, this, this oh my god, this, this is a wardrobe behind me, and I just fall on it. But guys, Bray Wyatt versus Zelda Knight, I cannot be more excited. The moment from this week's SmackDown is a whole segment. Is the fact that LA and I came out on Bray Wyatt's old team. And at the beginning, I was thinking his promo, it was great. We saw Uncle Howdy. We're not sure what exactly will happen, but I'm so excited to see. I'm so excited to see. <laughs> last but not least, last but not least, Kevin Owens versus Solo Sikoa. The whole drama started at the start of the show. On Monday Night Raw, we saw Roman Reigns telling Sami Zayn to not show up today, to not show up on Friday, but he showed up. He showed up because he wanted to thank Jay and he just vanished after he thanked Jay. The Usos met Kevin Owens in the hallways and basically the Usos got kicked out from the building. Be right before they left, Jay Uso called Sami Zayn and was like, my dog, I need your help. Kevin Owens vs. Solo Sikoa starts and Sami Zayn was there to stop Kevin Owens from getting the victory. Unfortunately, Sami Zayn did not stop Kevin Owens to assault Solo Sikoa. To be fair, Solo Sikoa kicked Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn was 
not conscious, but anyway, in my book he could have done something, probably they're gonna bring that on the rumble or somewhere else, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. We saw Kevin Owens being dominant, as I said in the previous video, if Kevin Owens is dominant now, he's gonna lose tonight. We all know that Roman is gonna win, but I'm sure that the match is gonna be hella entertaining and I'm sure it's gonna be hella a roller coaster. Anyway, I'm so excited for tonight. I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm gonna watch it real time. I'm gonna be real upset if I don't watch it real time, but let I'm so ready to rumble. By the way, if you want to watch more videos, you can click here. And you can like the video, you can share the video, you can subscribe. Who, who even share videos these days? Oh my god. Look at this face, look at this face. You can... Uh, don't know. Duh. Just click on that video.